Good morning or good afternoon, whichever one this finds you at. This is going to be a very quick demo of the Comtech phone system app. The first thing we want to do is go to the Play Store or Apple Store if you have an iPhone. When you search, you're going to search for Reach UC. As you can see up there at the top, I've already searched for it. Reach UC, it's going to be this blue icon with the little hand on it. Go ahead and click Install. When it is done installing, your options are going to be open or uninstall. Of course, we're going to open it. When we open it, your username will be your extension at whatever your domain is classified as in our system. For this demo, this one is Comtech Internal. Now, if you do not know your username, no worries. Shoot an email to support at Comtech nc.com and we'll be more than happy to tell you what your username is as well as your password. Now your password by default is going to be 1212 which is your voicemail password. If you have changed your voicemail password on your desk phone then your password will now be that voicemail password. So go ahead and click sign in. Once we're in the app, I want to go through the top tabs right here. The first tab, as you can see, is going to be your dialer. So you're just going to dial like you normally would sitting at your desk phone. The key here is when you dial out of the app from this dialer, your phone is going to go out. Your phone number is going to go out as the company number, which is great if you don't want to give out your cell phone number. If you go over here to the People tab, that is going to be your local contacts for your phone. So you'll have the ability to call anyone directly out of the app that's sitting in your phone, your local contacts. The Message app, I'm not going to cover right now. I can tell you it is texting, but we're going to cover that in a later video. Right here, with the little arrow in a circle, is going to be your History. Now, your history is going to show you all of the phone calls that you have made from your desk phone in the last few days. This little globe right here on the right, it's not going to show anything right now because I just launched the app and it still has to load. But what that is going to do is it's going to load in your global contacts for your company only. So that's going to be all internal contacts on the phone system. Now, there's a few other things that I like to cover here that are just tips and tricks. So one of the first things is if you have an Android device, not an iPhone, an iPhone does this automatically, but an Android does not. An Android, you need to go in to the settings up here in the top right, go to Preferences, scroll down to Controls, and scroll all the way down and right here at the bottom where it says handle outgoing native calls I suggest flipping that to never. The reason why I say that is because if you don't flip it to, ne to never by default it's set to ask. This means that when you go to call your wife or your husband or your kids whatever it may be and you're out of the app it's going to ask you do you want to use the app or not. For me I know that when I'm out of the app, I don't want to use my desk phone. I just know that when I want to use make a phone call from my desk phone and it shows coming from the company, I'll actually launch the app. That's the way that I like to do it. You, of course, can tell it always to use the app, so you always look like you're coming from your desk. You have those options here. Again, on an iPhone, it's always set to never, and I do not believe currently you can change that. Another thing that I do like to mention with an Android is there is a button here that says Always Show Voicemail Button. I like turning that on because that gives you the ability to have a voicemail button right here. Now, the voicemail, if you do not have an Android, can be accessed by dialing 5001. If you dial that, that tells the system, go check my voicemail. That's just like pressing the message button that's located on your 
that's fine. One last thing, and that is literally all there is to the app, pretty simple, is let's say you go home for the day. You don't want your cell phone to ring with your desk phone. You want to essentially close down the app. Well, with this app, there isn't a way, not easily, there isn't a way to close down the app. Instead, you need to turn your app on Do Not Disturb. So the best way to do that is to press this little green button up at the top left, and you can see I already have mine turned on. I have immediate D&D turned on. So if you turn that off, that means that when your desk phone rings, this cell phone will ring at the same time. If you turn it on, then that means just your cell phone is turned on D&D. Your desk phone will still ring, and it'll still be able to leave a voicemail, but your cell phone will not ring. So it's best just to turn that on when you're out of the office and you don't want phone calls. This also works great if you go on vacation, then you can just flip it on so your phone doesn't ring when your desk phone rings. Thank you so much for watching the app tutorial.